I'm cold. Don't worry. It's not. <laughs> mm. Harness the YouTube energy. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're talking Mavic Mini 2. Yeah, there's another one. It's here, we're talking about it, but before I continue yammering about, here's an amalgamation of footage shot over the last week and a half that has like a nice eclectic mix of stuff that really shows off this drone. So, I'll stop. Here it is. This is the fly more combo. Let's just rip it open. Let's just see what's inside real fast. Not gonna make a big thing of this because you know, what's inside, what's been inside for the last like five years. It's the same stuff. Nylon, feels good. Very smooth. Full disclosure, I probably won't ever use this. I will take the contents out, fit them into a smaller pouch that goes in my everyday bag because this is something I would probably bring with me every day given it's under 250 grams so you can fly this legally. You don't need any kind of paperwork or licensing to operate this UAV. Yeah, that sounded official. The controller is bigger than the drone. I love this remote. I love that the joysticks are in the bottom. I love that the phone comes on a hinge so you can fit basically anything on here. You're not gonna be limited to a smaller phone, a bigger phone, it's it's all right there. The cables are hidden underneath. That's, it's, it's super smart. Do I wish this was maybe a little bit more of like a mini version of this for the mini drone? Yeah. I gotta get rid of this, man. It's throwing off the vibe. Accessories. Ooh, a little brick charger. Thanks, DJI. That's helpful to include with devices. Battery bank. So this is super cool. With the Fly More combo, you're getting two additional batteries plus an extra slot. That battery's probably already in the drone, so you're getting three batteries total. So the rest of the cables, that's all you got to charge all three batteries now. That is awesome. So super excited on that. And then you've got the drone itself. What? the actual. Now with the Fly More combo, you get this little um, propeller guard. This wasn't on just the standalone drone. Side view, front, other side, below. That's the little uh, propeller thing. And then the top. This could fit in a sandwich. This could fit in like a, a six inch submarine sandwich with ease. Get all these stickers off. Boop. There's your extra battery gimbal cover. I wish these were just done a little bit better. Oh, that's fun. And that just covers the propellers on the bottom. Cool, love that. And then uh, look at this thing. Look how small this is. So obviously the benefit to this being so small is it comes under the weight limit. So you do not need a license to fly it. You don't have to go through the hoopla, if you will, of doing all the testing and having all the, the documents. Now, I would still recommend putting a label on this so that you can have your name on it and your information. Uh, that's just always a smart thing to do. I'll probably put a pirate sticker on this, but nevertheless, uh, that is that is what it is. You saw the footage that came from this very, very capable drone. 
So when you're thinking of stuff like vlogs, you're thinking about stuff like little internet short films, internet movies, things like that. You gotta get a shot, you're driving down the highway, there's a sunset, you wanna pull over, throw the drone up, that is what this drone is made for. It's super convenient, it's super small, it's very easy to use, and it can fit anywhere. It's not taking up tons of space. Like, do you remember how big the old drones used to be? Remember this? The case that you'd carry through an airport where everyone knew what you were carrying? Wonder what that is. This is so heavy. Look at that. Just doesn't even, it doesn't even compare. Look at the height difference. I know this is a different quality drone with different features, apples to apples comparison. But if we're looking at where drones have come, this battery for this drone weighs more than the entire Flymore kit. That's great, nothing flip flopping anywhere. So let's talk a little bit about the features of this drone, what it's like to fly this, how it compares to the other models. Do you need it? Is it something anyone needs? Does it even need to exist? All of those things. And for that, we're gonna bring in my friend Gabriel, who's been flying this drone for the past two weeks. Okay, Gabe, Gabriel. Did you bring your camera? Did you bring your camera today? <laughs> Uh, inside joke, we went on a photo shoot. He didn't bring a camera to the photo shoot. We'll link the vlog if you want to see it. Uh, you've been flying the Mavic Mini for the past, I would say, two weeks now. What do you think of it? Actually, really impressed with it. Testing it out in the wind, testing it out in different circumstances and situations. It's, yeah. It's an incredibly capable little drone. So you were flying it in like a blizzard. So I launched and I'm halfway out and it just, it's like white out. You, you saw the footage. Yeah. And it was amazing. Like it literally had pictures of it when it came back covered in snow. How would you compare it in high winds to something like your Mavic 2 Pro that you fly literally every day? Like you fly a drone 90, if not like 95% yeah. of everything you do with photo and video is from a drone. So I did find that I was fighting the drone um, a fair amount, flying in anything over 15 kilometers an hour, but I, I flew it in 30 kilometer an hour winds. I had to put it in sport mode to get back. It, it handled it. I flew in minus seven and I got like okay. the, it's too cold, you're gonna have problems in it. And it survived the whole time. I was really impressed. And I've, okay. I've flown the, not the two pro, but the one pro in minus 20 degrees and 20 kilometer an hour winds. And I, I don't think I ever got that error message. So it's- Cause that, I mean, would, that would compound quickly. Yeah, and the batteries don't last as long, but I was getting about a normal situation, so I was getting about half an hour. I have a question for you. So if you're flying in super high winds in sport mode, how did the gimbal react to that? So I did have some gimbal issues. Uh, if I was in sport mode and I went and I went forward, the gimbal would would tilt down. Um, I think that's just an effect of the the wind. It was just pushing the gimbal around a little bit. Okay. The propellers on this, like this, the whole profile of this drone, opposed to like the Phantom Four we were just looking at, which is huge. It's it's very slim. I'm always having difficulty finding a good spot to take off from without the propellers like hitting the ground or my shoe or something without like launching it from your hand. So like, how did, how did it fare in that regard? Most of the time uh, I rented a Jeep, so I just put it on the roof of the Jeep and huh. then just landed it there. So it was nice and flat. And, and it was you, fine. Yeah, it was handled amazing. Oh, that's great. Okay, because yeah. this, is, this is low that if you were to probably take this off from the ground, the propellers are going to hit something nearby if it's not like a parking lot. You're cutting a lot of grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Any favorite features notably that you enjoyed while flying? I love the 4K, the fact that it shoots 4K in such a small uh, body and then the zoom feature where there was a few times I was shooting a waterfall or something I wanted to get up close but didn't want to get the, the drone wet and you just activate the zoom and, and I, I think it worked pretty well. What is it, like two times zoom or? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I really enjoy the while we were editing this footage, the dynamic range seems to be very, very good for something so small. Like if you look at this shot here of Toronto, not only is the skyline like very nicely exposed and the, and the sky looks great, but like the foreground of all those trees look immaculate as well. Same with some of these shots inside the forest, which I love with the leaves falling down, looks so good. Uh, so all in all, I was super impressed. When I finished shooting the first day, I loaded it all down onto the NAR box and I streamed it to my iPad and I was just scrolling back and forth. I'm like, this looks incredible. <laughs> Incredible. And I love that literally, like if you don't want to bring the whole charger, you just want to bring these batteries, they're really small compared to like other drone batteries. Like that's all you're, it's like an LPE6 battery. This is the only thing I wish was a little bit smaller, but technically like you would only need to bring these two things in your bag to get epic, epic drone footage like you saw at the beginning of this video. Thank you for flying.
and thank you for, for going out and getting on. This dude was like sleeping in his Jeep in like random fields and waking up for sunrise to get that footage. I love it so much. So do what you gotta do. Thanks, man. Bam. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is your first look at the new Mavic Mini 2. A great example of different types of footage you can get, both urban and rural. A nice mix over a bunch of different days of different styles of weather, so that hopefully shows you its versatility. Uh, it's a great drone, so again, thank you to Gabriel for flying that and driving literally everywhere to get a nice mix so we could look at this on launch day. DJI, thank you for sponsoring this video, and thank you for sending me this drone. Again, you guys knocked it out of the park. It's the attention to detail, like these little propeller guards, and little things that just make the experience better and better each time. Do you need this drone? That's up to you. If you've got something that's already capable, if you already have the Mavic Mini, if you're flying something higher end that you're getting paid work for, I would probably say no. You could probably skip this version because there isn't substantial differences to it that would make me feel like it's groundbreaking enough for you to just dump everything you already own and restart. But if you're someone who's in the market for a drone, you wanna get into it, and you're looking for something small and easy to use and friendly, something that's not gonna intimidate you as a first time drone flyer, uh, this is a great drone to learn from and it's a great drone that's gonna get you results that are good enough to go on YouTube channels and internet videos and pass off as very high quality footage that you wouldn't know that came from something this small. Those are my thoughts. Hit the like button if you like this video, smash it if that's something that you're into, subscribe if you aren't already and, and I will see you guys in the next video. So many cameras, so many cameras. of a, a vast variety of different, diff a vast, holy I'm just like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It's the candy in my mouth. <laughs> Taken from lots of different environments and weather systems, ugh, weather systems? <laughs> weather systems. Yeah, weather systems. Come back at six o'clock for the full report. What's up, everybody? <laughs> it's hard to talk with a cough lozenge. Lozenge. Lozenge, lozenge. We've all been accustomed to the soft, the very soft, opaque DJI baggage. It's high quality baggage. Baggage. Bag baggage. <laughs> it's even smaller. Is it even smaller? Yeah, there's another one. <coughs> Is that a dry cough?